Hey guys, this is not a substitute for the source material. Please go support the official release. All rights belong to Netflix. Alright guys, going to start a new series today. I'm realising it's taking a bit of time between each upload of Doctor Who. So I'm deciding I'll try a new episode, or a new series this, this time. The Witcher. Been getting a lot of reactions around the, all over YouTube and I thought, hmm, let's, let's give it a try. You know, might be good. Uh, just a heads up. Don't know anything much about The Witcher. Uh, I did a bit of uh, exploration of the lore. Don't want to go in completely blind, but it should. I don't. I think it looks good. It's kind of like Game of Thrones meets The Mandalorian, and that should be fun. So let's give it a watch and see how it turns out. And here we go. Loving the shadows. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it with fire, kill it with fire. Some sort of pterodactyl spider thing. Little human creature hybrid. Get it, get it. Oh. Oh. You know, you know, it's it's things like this you need groups of three. Or groups of groups of three, or groups of two anyway. Whoa, that looks badass. Oh man. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh I was right about that. Apparently he's d discriminated against. What will I'm, quite sure, I'm quite sure about the lore though. Point me to the alderman's house. It's down the alley, to the left. Here's a door up. We don't know our ways. Get out of here, Witcher. We don't serve we your don't kind. Want your kind here, oh, okay, we're going with the that. Really? A Witcher? I mean, there's prejudice, and then there's like pitching a fight against a guy who's trained to kill. I mean, this is like a foregone conclusion. We're gonna pick a client with you. That's enough to buy some new clothes. Just saying. <laughs> I like her. I wonder, wonder who this character is. I hope she has a more defined role. She probably isn't Surlia, though. Impressive sets. Like, are these, are these, I, if these are the recycled sets from Game of Thrones or other fantasy series, good, good use of them. Don't let, don't let's let them dry up. What a good location design. Location management is pretty good. Ooh, real magic. None of that vague, ill, poorly defined sorcery that that can be. You can barely diminish from hello there. Wizards are all the same. You talk nonsense while making wise and meaningful faces. Speak normally. Thank you. Enough of the riddles, man. Okay. <laughs> all good predictions rhyme. <laughs> I studied the girls. Prophecies blow. The sun, and I found horrendous internal mutations among them. I no prophecies ever them. true. Actually, true. It's always self-fulfilling, but the girls and always brought about by someone trying to avoid it. Just get rid of prophecies and don't tell anyone, we and they'll be they'll come true. To confirm my suspicions, Nate, I will have come. Okay, yeah, that that's cursed. What happened next was not ideal. Throw down the well. If she, if she drowns, if she lives, she's a witch. If she drowns, she's Samura. They found him in the brush, Renfrewton. Try not to choose at all. How poetic. And a good explanation of the duality of evil. If, I mean, it's more nuanced and grey than that, but... Yeah, if you have to choose just saying it's the lesser of evils, it is kind of... Scouts return. Ooh, battle is coming. 
Oh, really? We would have seen that coming. Except for the fact that you're royals and it's your prerogative to actually defend your people and you should tell your daughter, your granddaughter, you should defend us. Thank you. He put in words. I that makes sense. Sorry, do I see any elves and dwarves in this, or is that the rival, rival country, or the outlanders, the outsiders who dwell amongst the mountains? You huh? know that I want to kill Stragobor, then. Oh, that's Renfrey. I used to be a princess. Did he tell you that? Destiny intervenes. So, which side would he take? He's unfeeling, but he needs to. But this is about the more complexity. He you still has morals. Oh. The lesser evil. <laughs> so I keep getting told. Seriously, why we, we should start using more arguments with this guy? Okay, you should have remained in cover, hidden your ranks, and now drawn them in, and then. Route them, flank them on either side, and then just make a surprise attack from underneath. There are too few of you. Aha! Warrior Queen! That's good! Just charge at one another. No strategy, no... Whoa! Teach her magic. That'd be awesome. Yeah, now would be a good time for the cavalry. Whoa! Okay, that's a first. I was going to say I haven't. I've seen Game of Thrones, so I'm used to this. And King Richard goes down. Okay. Fast to bar. Don't fall for it, Witcher. No, but I can't withstand the brush strokes of the hair. I have to make that pretty damn soothing. Uh, sir, have you tried attacking any other part of the castle? Whoa! So she's a literal lion cub. <laughs> Hers is the fury, I guess. I have the time. And now you have no time at all. I don't think you do. Fuck. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Alright. So it's gonna be bullet time. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> oh. Not a chance. Not a chance. <laughs> oh, not her. Oh. Oh. You were justified, but you could have left. You made your choice. Whoa. Kind of wait for his head to explode, but <laughs> you do you, I guess. Just what you came for. 
damn fanatics. Oh, tickets. Bastards. Slaughter them. Kill them all. Come on. Oh, what the hell? You know what? Fuck you. Oh yeah, now you're back up. He'll be coming for you next. So we're back at it again. And yeah, that was fun. I actually really liked that. I mean, I've been in a bit of a rut since the end of the Game of Thrones, so it's good to actually find something that's fun. And yeah, just a few notes I had on it. Uh, a few minor changes I would have made, and a few hiccups I thought were along the way. Um, I suppose first things first, uh, prejudice makes no sense. I, I know that was just for like an, an act or a ruse you're having, but yeah, the prejudice doesn't really make sense. I mean, this is a guy who hunts monsters, saves people's lives, and is just, you know, a loner. Heck, they have a wizard in their own town, and they have... They, I they assume to be following this woman who's also a magi uh, magical person, and he's a stronger opponent. I mean, that's like me. That's like me uh, being prejudiced against a bear, and me going up to bear and saying, "You don't belong here." He he maul my he maul my back off. But I assume that's going to be more properly explained later on. Um, anything else? I suppose it's just a case of world building just uh, I suppose it's good to introduce us to the fact of there is a prejudice there and people do feel a bit uh, iffy around witchers um I also look uh, I, I do, do love the fact that it's actually genuine fantasy uh it's like actually magic and lore and spells and alchemy I thought okay that's cool you no know, not that sort of Game of Thrones-esque um where we're going to vaguely define what magic is, and then we're going to, we're going to do it only little bits. No, it's like, no, we're casting spells, force fields, that's where they feels, uh, creating concussive blasts, you know, what Witcher can do it, he's like bashing his footprints around and knocking them back, and I thought, cool, we're doing actual magic. Uh, so that's, that's cool. And... I have to say, location management was top-notch. If, um... If they're reusing sets or unused sets from Game of Thrones, I'm going to refer a lot to Game of Thrones. Uh, it's kind of like that go-to fantasy series that everyone thinks about now. And there's going to be com maybe some comparisons. Maybe I'm stepping on a lot of toes. But, uh, I don't know. It's it's just one of those things I'm not really entirely sure about. Because I don't know the lore. I don't know what everyone else knows about this lore. I had to look it up a video beforehand. Uh, about some guy explaining the lore behind it. Well, I watched a few Jack Jacksepticeye of him playing the game. Um, but the world seems interesting. I liked uh, it's an interesting look at how there's like monsters in both the in the, the real life sense and the physical sense. There is monsters that have to, be, have to be battled, but there's also the internal demons of the humans that are the monsters. I believe I saw a just right episode about that where they, I think he was discussing how. It is like an RPG element. You're meeting these different characters, and you're not quite sure who's the true evil one. And that's the problem, that there is no true evil. And that's a good thing here as well. She, none of these characters are necessarily evil. They're just very cruel, manipulative, and desperate. And the, and I felt actually felt like a proper RPG element, or a proper video game element, where... This, the main character is sort of following on, you're like, you're not sure, uh, kill her, let her go, she gives her backstory, she was raped, she was, uh, she was mutilated, she w she was abandoned, I thought, oh, oh, you know, let her go, you know, give her the choice, let her go, then she goes back, and you're like, ah, she made her choice, you have to kill her, and it's like, nope, it's the wrong choice, maybe, I'm not sure, 
But the fact is, he still ended up screwed over by these people. I thought, oh man, that sucks. You know, screw that town. Screw it. Hey, I just, I just get rid of all these bandits for you. You're a monster! Can you not just said, um, you know, wizard guy hired me? I mean, yeah, his word against it. Their words against his, but you know, there's some. He could have done something. But I guess that's just his character. He he is a, he's the loner. He's the archetype of the that man with no name, the Mandalorian in this world. And that that's like another comparison I might make. It's, it's Game of Thrones meets the Mandalorian. This sort of individual, this loner individual who is going on this quest of just self identification, and he's a. He's a cool character. I like these sort of all these sort of interconnected stories, like the queen, the princess uh, Siri, I believe her name is Siri, and the um, and the fact that he, she's interconnected with uh, Gerald, right? And uh, so I think that's going to be a cool sort of little crossover of these two characters. And I hope, I hope that comes well, not too soon. I'd like to see what they do on their own. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a there's also um. I want to discuss the battle. What a wash! That that was completely incorrect way of doing battle. Uh, it's like a, I mean that sword fighting at the end, badass, completely impressive. So apparently the the stunt coordinator, coordinator for this whole thing is the is the guy, same guy who played the the Night King from Game of Thrones, and if so, he's an amazing stunt coordinator. I mean, I've never seen a, a broadsword used that way, or even if it is a broadsword, sword enthusiasts don't come after me. I'm not a, not a, ma a maverick about this whole thing. But, yeah, he, that was just an impressive use of it. I thought it was like, oh, going to be bolt time. No, no, it's going to be fast pace, one one tracking shot, one shot. Keep, keep it wide, keep it open, see every swing, every blow, every hit. And that's a good action. What's Bad action is that battle sequence at the beginning, and I, you know, I actually, I actually did a, a like this tiny uh, edit of it, and it I actually did like a little sort of strategy plan. I did the, I did this in like in like ten minutes. It took me ten minutes to design it, five minutes to come up with it, and it's already better. I mean, you got the advancing army. You could have had had archers on the sides. You know, uh, conceal longbowmen, then conceal them away. Have the advancing army come in towards the main infant, the main infantry, the main body of the army. Lure them in. When they're close enough, archers start hitting from the back. They're confused. They're routed. They, they can come out. They can come around in a in a pincer movement and flank them. Um, they're surrounded. Give them, give them give them an opening in the back, so that way they have a way to retreat. They're not. They're not just going to be barking mad dogs who are just going to be throwing themselves at the blade because there's no escape. No, no, there's actually, there's actually have them like, you know, slowly close them in, push them back, and make, and make their way, you know, towards, and make their way towards their enemy grounds, or just hold their line. Right, or that, okay, you know, have a cavalry charge, you know, come in from the sides. But, that's near, neither here nor there. And... Yeah, I, I can I can hardly blame. It's like it's it's the first episode. Who knows? Maybe they might get better as it goes along. But there are so many ways you could have done that better. Um, who knows? Maybe next season they might improve it. Maybe next episode they might improve it. I I've no, I'm no one to judge. I haven't really directed a battle sequence in my life. Um, but other than that, I'm I'm interested in what this is about. It's like come for the action stay for the characters and that's fun that's good writing it's not just uh, an action set piece you know like look at all this cool sword play that you don't care that what's what's being done who's doing it but you care but here you actually care like Gerald is actually you know he's devoid of he's devoid of emotion but he's not devoid of character this is this this and the Mandalorian are the best ways to make these sort of Man with no name, uh, lone, lone gunman, the, the lonely wolf, uh, that comes into town in the back of a horse, and has to right the wrongs, even if they, everyone will hate him for it. 
This is a good way of doing it because he, while he doesn't, he's not verbally explaining it. You can see it on his face. His he's just emoting that sort of displeasure of like, I was so close. I could have gotten it. I could have gotten these guys' approval. But as she says, that woman in the forest will always be your destiny. And I, as you heard from throughout the entire review or reaction, I don't believe in, the de in destiny. He's not bound by the by a by any de destiny or fate. I don't believe in destiny or faith, or fate. If that's the way of this world, they need to be able to find a way to overcome it, and they need to find a way to do their own thing. I'm looking forward to this sort of uh, little uh, sort of headstrong princess coming across this lone swordsman and being like, "Like you're doing what I say." No, we don't do what you say. Like, you do, you're doing what I say. No, we're not doing what I what you say. And that and that'll be some cool interactions. And and on, until then, I'm looking forward to seeing more of the world. I'm looking forward to seeing more of the of these characters. Yes. And hey, if they have the action on top of that, cherry on top. And hey, if they have more action along the way. Uh, that's, a, that's just a cherry on top of this ice cream sundae. No, hey, having more action along the way. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue with that. So thank you guys. This is my first episode of a new of a new series, and I'm going to I'm going to follow through the entire way. If you react, if you want to watch or not, I have still put up the rea reactions, and it's good. I'm going to see how far it goes.